good good um good afternoon hey good afternoon guys how you doing how's everyone doing today i hope we're all doing well and i'm trying to cook i want to make a uh, okra soup so yeah anybody that knows me will be like okra soup you okra soup yeah well i'm making it not relief because i want to because i i really can stay my um, my entire life without eating okra i'll be fine but um a friend of mine is coming over for dinner uh, she likes okra so i'm like okay why not let's just do this i mean i can eat okra it's not like i, I don't i can't eat it but i don't just like it it's not my favorite i don't miss it or anything and the washing is just annoying i don't care if it's the washing machine i just Touching that sliminess is just annoying. I mean, I can eat it at all. My sister don't even eat it at all. My sister. I remember growing up, my mom makes okra. She's gonna make something different for my sister because she doesn't eat it. She, I think she throws up or something. So yeah, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using to make this okra soup. Uh, well, I'll just make a typical way of uh, make a lesson. I will do it how I can, but trust me, it's gonna turn out good. I'm gonna show you guys what's up. To make this soup, I have okra, the okra, um, um, the okra vegetable. I have salt. I have uh, fish, dry fish. I have okboroko, that's uh, stock fish. I have uh, no cube, uh, some hot pepper, um, onion, and crawfish. Over here, I have my hands are washed, guys. See, before I cook, I wash my hands. So don't, when I touch anything, everything is clean, washed, the meats are washed, everything is completely washed. It's just for the cooking. So I have a red meat today to make this soup with. And yes, I also have a palm oil or red oil, whatever you call it. And yes, uh, I, it, this, I will make it the typical way I can make okra, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, it, may be, it may be different from how you make your okra, but uh, listen, I am not about to sleep in the kitchen cooking, so I go the fastest way and voila, voila, voila. Yes, so let's go, guys. <laughs> So guys, usually when I cook, that's actually the most time I drink. Like I usually don't. Okay, I'm not. In, I'm not like the type of person that I don't watch a lot of movies or whatever. Except I'm do, I'm watching with friends. Probably more of more. I play more game. Yeah, and so the most times I drink is that maybe when I'm with friends, hanging out with friends, or when I'm cooking. In here, I have the meat, the red meat, 
dry fish, the okoroko that's uh, stockfish inside. If you're not Nigerian and you're wondering why I have all this together, this is actually how we cook in Nigeria. Mostly when we're making soup like this. If you don't have the more for us, the more the merrier. For us, the more the so this is how we grow. Okay, I cannot be making soup and have just meat. I have to add more fish, you know, mangala, all this good stuff, you know, um, kifana, um, perinko. So that's how we make it over there in Niger way. Okay, I didn't add water. I didn't add water. This all we are seeing here is from the steaming, the water from the meat. When I steam it, the water just comes out. So I usually, uh, my mom usually don't add water when she's cooking, when she's trying to steam it. Except if you need more water later, you can add it. But in this case, I don't think we need more water because this is more like vegetable, right? And I think it has some water inside of it. Uh, yeah. So when you add all this together, I added red oil. So when you see it's red, it's the red oil inside. Uh, now, I add some water in the okra because according to my friend, when you add some water and stay, it make it more slimy. Because in Europe, we don't have um, a slimy okra like you find in Nigeria or in Ghana. I say Ghana also because my friend in Ghana said it's the same way. I don't know if it's the same in other part of Africa. So I'm just going to say where I am sure, okay? Yeah, so you do it this way, apparently it makes it uh, slimy. So I'm going to try it and see if it gets slimy or not. When you are cooking and you are drinking at the same time, you have so much, um, what's it called? Um, you are so motivated to cook. I feel motivated when I drink and cook actually because it, it helps me to clean up immediately. And like I said in my, in my previous video, one time I said, I told you guys, coming from my mom you cannot eat that food if you don't clean up you have to clean up before you you eat hey this food is done guys look and it's slimy to 
make this um, for her. It's one of her favorite foods, so uh, hopefully she likes it best. But I tested, I tested it. It tastes good. So uh, yeah, she should be glad. <laughs> well, she should be glad I made food for her. Yeah. So it was nice making this food. Um, if you hear sound, it's either see ya. Uh, uh, the kind of fly I found here is crazy. Like in the summer, this, the fly, I don't know where they come from. It's if you live in Kano, if you live in Kano, or if you live in the northern part of Nigeria, you understand. Like the, those kind of fly you see, that's the kind of fly I've seen at this one. Like it's crazy. This, I think they perceive the fish or whatever, they just come around. I just spray around for them to die. Uh, so if you see anything flying around, it's. Uh, is the fly guys it is what it is if you like what i made drop a comment below if you like the way i make it ask me a question if you don't understand something oh shit is a fly guys fuck get up um and uh yes um i'm just gonna do the cleaning and um i'll let the fly go away before um i make the 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 the, the, the oatmeal yeah because i cannot Allow this around it. Yeah. So thank you guys for cooking with me today. Drop a comment below, like and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. See you on my next video. Bye bye. Something, of course, something, something. Cheers to good life.